Hey, morning. Mm, my face is rough and all that, I know. Okay. Um, I was just thinking today anyway. And that was regarding my birthday and getting the Ferrari. Now, I've been... This is a very crazy person when it comes to spending money wisely. If you know me in person, you would actually know. Because most people who don't know me in person probably feel... You know, maybe I don't have much. I'm not what this. I'm not what that. Because I'm not more, much of a, you know, spending extravagantly on things that are not important. There are lots of times that I lost contracts, I lost deals, I lost jobs just simply because of modest look. Back then in those days, because I came from a family that subscribed into this, uh, you have to be humble shit. I call it shit right now because I can just mem like remember how. I wouldn't want to say it's stupid, I wouldn't want to use words that would offend my family. But back then my mom used to be like, okay, fine, um, it's nice to be humble. She we had like four she had like four cars. That's aside that of my dad, or anybody who knows my family knows where I'm coming from. She had like four cars her own self. Mom would park her four cars in the compound. I want to use leg to walk on the streets. In her own opinion, she's been humble. Since everybody knows she owns lots of cars and she's walking humbly. That was, maybe that was good for her. Um, but in this modern day world, people grade you based on their perception of you, right? I've been in a position where I was bidding for a contract. I was better than my opponents or my co-bidders. I was better than them in experience, having the best in um, knowledge in every single thing. Like these are one of them was actually somebody who calls me often to ask me questions regarding AI and security. But they got the job and I didn't. Why? Because back then I I paid little attention to how I'm being seen. So to me it's more of what I know. Like you have been following me up for years. When I started up my whole platform, it used to be more of what I know who coding this one, Python, you know, PHP, you know, C plus plus, like I was so focused on. You would see me every day on my computer and that's all I would show you. I would show you things I've achieved regarding the computer, you know, sphere. And that was just the most important thing to me. As I proceeded into business, I got to understand that people don't just give you um, business or people just want to do business with you because of what they feel you do. In fact, they won't even believe what you do or they won't even believe what you have to offer or what, if what you're offering is original if you're not properly packaged, right? Now, let me give you an instance. If I'm going right now to buy um, drug and I see two pharmacies or two drugstore, one drugstore is very small, not much of a design. Probably they had a ceiling fan. Um, they're just there with one, you know, staff over the counter or one pharmacist over the counter selling the drugs. And then I go to this other pharmacy, or there's a pharmacy opposite them, and this other pharmacy has um lots of you know pharmacists selling drugs. The place is quite big. There are variety of drugs. There's air conditions everywhere. The whole place is well tiled. There's a dispenser everywhere. They have a place where you can have injections. Just by the side, they have a lab. Like it's big. It's more like a complex. I can swear to you that one pharmacy will be selling the one that is humble. The small pharmacy will be selling a drug for let's say thousand naira. The other one that is big. That same drugs, not the different drugs. That same drugs. That same drugs. Is that same drugs? For five thousand, me you and you and everybody who has eyes will buy that one of five thousand there. Now the question is, why don't you go to the one of one thousand? Somehow you not feel it's very risky. You not feel you shouldn't buy that one for one thousand because they have ceiling fan. They're not properly structured. You not think that one that has you know lots of aesthetic you know so. So I want to buy the Ferrari. I have a Vela already. I have a Vela. I have a Land Cruiser. I have a Crosstor. I have an old G wagon. Uh, much other car do I have? And um, the Corolla is just majorly for children. Maybe whenever the kids are going to school. Uh, and the Hilux. I have like two Hilux. That's six cars total. I have six cars total. Now, each and every one of these cars are regular cars. The maybe the Vela has a bit of an aesthetic and it's fine. The G wagon is quite old. Um, the cross tour, that's my favorite before I got the villa. Yeah, it's still, no, it's, it's, it's even below normal. Um, I think all of them, okay, the Land Cruiser, that was one of yesterday. And that one is still, it's still normal, you see it everywhere. A Ferrari is not what you see anywhere. A Ferrari is not what you see anywhere. Now, let me tell you why. Now, imagine I'm, I'm picturing this whole thing on my head, though. Imagine I'm contesting, I'm bidding for a contract again, and... 
while everyone is, you know, there, there is this loud sound. You know, you understand what I'm coming from? That turbine engine, that is a, is a supercar now. Now it's 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 bobs in from the outside, and every single person is like, "What did happen?" You know, then they, they they look outside, and then they see this chinek in me. They see this sweet programmer. Maybe the helix can be following me at my back because when I arrive, I know it will take them like two minutes to arrive later because obviously the supercar is fucking fast and I'm a crazy driver. And now maybe I, I pack in and I don't come down from the car and then the helix, they all come in and then they pack by my side. Shineke. <laughs> and then I come down from the Ferrari. It's actually a normal door, it's not Lambo door, but I would upgrade my door so I can lift it up like suicide doors. Just for that aesthetic, and then I come down, I put on my blazers, have my security escort me, and I'm not bidding for a contract. I think I've made a lasting impression that I'll this is why it's nice to make a lasting impression of money. I've had so many occasions where I'm supposed to work for a fintech company, I've worked with lots of them, right? But I've still had many of them that would turn me down back then, that still turn people to tomorrow because they feel. How can you work as a how can you work with us on our fintech section? Like we're, we're let's say they're they're processing payment, right? We have a payment processor. So how can you work for us? How can you help us process payments when you don't look like somebody who has money? So imagine having a contract with let's say this is this is a company called Pay Charter, right? Just a pseudonym and fiction. I don't know if anything like this is this. I don't want to call any of the companies I've worked with or have I or bidded for to avoid the issues. But let's say this is Pay Charter, right? And now Pechata calls you as a normal programmer to come and work with them. But somehow you came in there, you're not looking like somebody who has so much of your money. And you're just looking like somebody who is very humble. And Pechata is telling you, okay, we want to be processing like 2 billion worth of transactions, you know, weekly. And we want somebody who will be able to program the security behind this. Because programming payments is different from security. I do more security. AI security to be able to detect certain things and then put certain things in order. Now, imagine they call you right now and you're not even looking like somebody who has seen 10 million in, their, in his life, in his whole lifetime. Nobody's going to give you that job. Except probably they know you, they know your credibility. See, yet still, it would go, it, would, it won't be that easy. Now, anybody who has not really gone much or bidded for contracts will know what I'm saying. But I know what I'm saying. I've been in positions where people who I am better off got employed and I got dropped just because I looked very simple. I'm not usually a person who's even loud. I'm trying to learn how to be loud as I'm happy. My PA is actually teaching me all the things because, you know, why come you up? There are points when they'll be like, um, eh, we don't want to take the risk. Like, I'm fucking good in this. So, um, don't worry, we'll get back to you. Now, I don't go out again. I don't bid contract again without going with cars. So, whenever I'm bidding, I would at least go with my fella, maybe two helocks. Now, for the normal person who doesn't even have money, who think I'm bragging. But once you start bidding for contract, you know that those other companies want to see you doing well for yourself. So, if you like, come there in an Uber or, come, or drive yourself to the venue, they will look at you and then they will look at somebody who came with lots of security, lots of PA. He has a secretary holding her iPad and this other guy's security coming around him. Then the will tell you, okay, no verse, please, sit down for that within chair first. Make men first enter. Now, there you go, no, see that your humility put out for pocket. Like I said, I came from a family. My parents never really had any reason to, you know, look that big because my mom was, you know, kind of a nurse and obviously she doesn't need those things for anything. Um, the clinics were quite good. Um, she was a religious person. So they subscribed to this. Um, that shall be humble and that shall lift you up. But in modern day world, you go to a club. And I park my Ferrari outside and see that I'm not letting anybody inside. The bouncer will go meet manager, see who call me blessing, but the pool will we'll make space for Ramu. But I have 200 billion, I can nobody knows. It's how you present yourself. So my bed is on the 29th. Um, I have about 200k on Binance. And I'm thinking if I should just pull it out. But then I still have to work myself. Like this is this is 10 48. AM. I just woke up not too long. I don't even get to sleep early again because to me it's not more, more like a calendar. Even if I don't buy it on my birthday or before my birthday, I think I would still buy it to see no matter what it is. Not because I feel like spending money, but because it's something that would boost my brand. See you all. Okay.